everyone, I'm Rachel. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to color a beautiful and realistic snow falling scene using the Color Therapy app. Coloring or shading snow can seem difficult, but I will show you how to accomplish this with relatively few steps. You'll be able to add a snowy scene to any image in the app after this. Okay, so I've already started coloring in some of the elements here. Let's just focus on the snow on the ground and shading that. So I'm gonna go under the Hair Shades palette first. Choose the first lightest color, it's kind of a cream, and tap to fill in all the snow. So the reason why I chose this color for the snow is because I wanted to have a warm feel to it. So I'm creating a mood with this. So I wanted the snow to look really warm, like it's glowing from the street lights in the evening. Now let's do the shadows. So under the hair shades palette again, on the second row, I'm gonna choose a darker beige color. Let's go ahead and use the smudge tool. Set the size to 100 and the opacity at 24. I'm gonna zoom in to one area of the snow here and using my finger, making sure coloring inside the lines mode is set to on, I'm gonna just start to add in a bit of a shadow, just going underneath this line here. So behind each of the lumps of snow, it's gonna you're gonna have a shadow so you can distinguish between the lumps of snow. And I'm gonna apply that to all of those areas. Now you might need to turn coloring inside the lines mode to off in a few areas, such as in between the bike spokes because there's so many lines there. So take your time. Now let's add a darker shadow. So use a dark brown from that same palette. And I'm just gonna focus even more on adding deeper shadows behind those lumps of snow. And then with a basic white, you can lighten it back up in a few areas if it got a little bit too dark. And what I'm doing is just adding it to the very top of those bumps of snow. Next, go onto the eraser tool and just select smear. And you can have the size around 35% and opacity 100. And you're just going to smear just a few areas of the snow. And I'm using coloring inside the lens mode set to on. So this sort of just helps to blend it in a little bit. And then last, let's add some texture with the pencil tool. Set the size to 35 and the opacity to 30. Zooming into one of your areas of snow, use a basic white. Now you're just gonna use your finger and just go over all of your areas and where the shadows are. And you're just gonna draw a back and forth line, adding in texture. So now the snow is really coming to life and it actually looks like it has granules in it and just chunks of snowflakes. So apply that to the rest of all the snow. You might also want to choose to color the entire background first and then color in your bike so that it's a lot easier. So you don't have to go around the bike. Now the last step is to add some snow falling and you'll want to do that after you shade everything. So make sure that's your very last step. So go under the manual mode and select splatter tool. Set the opacity down to 2% and the size at 60. And using your white color, make sure coloring inside the lines mode is set to off. And you're just going to go across the screen going in a horizontal lines all the way across, just adding in quick little bits of snow. And then you can also go under the effects tab and add the snowflakes. And that's it. Make sure to use the snow filter in the effects tab to intensify the snowflakes. If you'd like to see more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe to the Color Therapy YouTube channel so you don't miss any new tutorial videos. Thanks for watching our tutorial. You can get the Color Therapy app for free on the App Store.